by this. He's been in this situation many times before. He'll come back here and play. Now hand it off to Kareem Hunt, one of the top backs in the country. Play. Woodside, one of the most accurate and efficient throwers in the college game, finds Hunt out of the backfield, breaks the tackle at midfield, and all the way down to the 30. Hard rush seasons, he's uh, close to 1,200 yards for the year. Hunt will get the carry again. Slippery through that front line. A lot of plays in the backfield, Beth. He's got to be active tonight. Hunt with a nice burst. He had a good block from Roberts, the tight end, who lined up in the good back, and Terry Swanson is out there. Again, they'll line up the tight end in the backfield. And pops. That's only about twice a game. And here are the Rockets knocking on the door. They'll flick it to Roberts, reaching for the goal line. Well, if anyone's questioned whether Toledo was going to answer, you got your answer, right? And we're going to maybe get another look at that, see if his right hip hit the ground before the ball broke the plane. The rolling on the previous play was a Toledo touchdown. The play is under further review. Roberts has been fantastic this year for Toledo as a receiver. He's got 12 touchdown catches, the most at the position in the country. You see the, the, the knee is down right there. Question is, did the ball break the plane? I think they're going to keep it. I think they're going to keep it too, Beth. You're right, because, of course, it was called a touchdown. To me, I did not see enough evidence to overturn that on that particular play. This is going to internalize all that. The ruling on the field stands. Touchdown. Stopping Curtis Samuel, JT Barrett, this Ohio State offense. Peppers will uh, sit down with Desmond Howard tomorrow. As things started to turn and they started to have success, this community really embraced it. They run up the middle and Kareem Hunt breaking tackles and he's out across the 35 to the 37. Open the open field to speed as well. The one thing with Toledo, you know they're never too far out of it. They have had a ton of state in the Apple Cup tonight. A run with Hunt. Good push forward out across the 45-yard line. Thompson is the motion man. He's been their most lethal, lethal target. This is Hunt looking at him backtrack and changing directions and finding room down the left sideline. Inside the five, burrowing his way towards the pipe. 15 yards upfield, number seven right there leading the way. He's got two guys, Beth, who hand on both of them, trying to get a little more room for his tailback. And it looked like he got inside the pylon before he went out. No steps out, nothing out. Right there, the ball was inside the, the pylon, so I would say that's going to stand. You can go out of bounds as a main set the new school record by the end of the night. They're going to give it to him here on the pitch. Nowhere to go. Let's check in with Allison. What's at stake? An appearance in the MAC championship game. And for Western Michigan, a shot to stay undefeated. It's four down and two. And Toledo's going to go for it, and they're not going to get it. Kareem Hunt stuffed in the backfield, and West. Jerry Swanson will replace him. Woodside play action and a pump. It's Corey Jones on the perimeter. And Western wins the 1v1 battle in the draw up the game plan. He's got to go execute. He wants to be a part of it. Hunt trying to get to the edge. He cannot get out of bounds. He reaches across the field. And they are not going to get the third down conversion. Western Mission playing a lot of man coverage on defense. Try to find a way to get those guys open. Talking about what, what Allison was uh, describing, the relief. Trying to maintain an undefeated season and get to the MAC championship next week. And they've got a sack on Logan Woodside. Pressure coming, Woodside. Ball is loose, and Western Michigan's got it. Keon Adams hammered him from the back. Things happen. All the coaches developing their players, giving them belief to rise to the top. And he said the biggest thing that all the greats have done is they. Woodside, incomplete, and it's fourth down. Program from the grassroots level.
And they have come out in force tonight in their final home game. And, and, yeah, and Allison, that's very important. Once some more of those Midwest style guys have grown up with these kind of elements, that kind of blue collar mentality, and PJ Fleck has made a priority of it. For PJ Fleck and the Broncos, up big now, 45 to 14 on Toledo as we start the fourth quarter. The winner of this game will advance to the MAC championship game to play Ohio. So they cannot win the Mountain West championship. That would take them out of contention. Throwing downfield to the tight end, Michael Roberts. And he's got the first down down inside the 30. Those fumbles, one interception. None tonight. Kareem Hunt. Nice moves out across midfield. Epitomizing the struggle and the fight that it's been and how far they have come. Toledo. Trying to make things interesting. Swanson. So he can see his beautiful face. <laughs> it's Kareem Hunt on the catch, breaking tackles, spinning his way out across the 40. Let's check in right now with Allison. Well, Beth, how do you celebrate a program? Thank you. As I said earlier, that loss to Houston, or Houston losing today, makes one of their big losses not look quite as good because Houston, I would say, is going to drop out. Woodside caught down the middle. Corey Jones wheeling his way all the way down inside the 30. Well, it's right. A.M. Eastern, five hours of game day leading up to the Buckeyes and the Wolverines. Swanson down inside the five. From Michigan to 12 and 0. And it's a touchdown for Terry 